Josh and I'm Dom and I'm Evan and today we woke up very early drove all the way to the Hamptons from Connecticut for something pretty special yeah and there is a DB12 in that building over there I am so excited I'm very excited so we, yeah we drove all the way here to Rally Point East it's a car collection place here in uh, the Hamptons uh, we got to drive uh, this car which we're not showing you yet we have a whole different video coming soon that's the next video coming out uh, if yep. you want to see what car this is you have to stick around you have to subscribe uh and uh, if you want to take a guess leave it in the comments below um but for right now i think we're just gonna like head in there yeah i want to head on. in because there's excited. like no one here yet and we got here super early because we wanted to beat all the traffic exactly but we got here a little bit too early a little bit too early clearly uh but we're gonna head in i think we have like a we can see some private stuff in the back too yeah. i don't know we, we haven't we're gonna done it try yet. we're gonna try we're gonna try but, so I'm, I'm really excited tom you excited yeah I'm so, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Let's okay. go into it. Dom, what do you think? Dude, this thing is gorgeous. Miles ahead of the DBS, miles ahead of the DB11. Just the interior and everything, just... Yeah, it just comes completely. together so well. Like, it, it honestly, like, redefines for me what Aston Martin, like, yeah. is. It's just so much better. Because I think our one problem with the DBS was that it was outdated and... Yeah. Not really... Not really, like, fully fledged yeah, and fully exactly. new. Even though it was brand new and several hundred thousand dollars. This actually lives up to the... This lives up to the Aston Martin hype. Lives up to it. Oh, they're making yeah. a volante of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they That's awesome. Oh, they That's did so that? cool. Yeah. yeah. So, I gotta ask, what's your favorite part of the car? Of this car? Yeah. Uh, favorite part of the car? Yeah. I mean, I love the new nose of the car. Yeah. It does look amazing. Yes, it looks Yeah, cool. that's, what, that's what I was saying like earlier. GBS at yeah. first. Yeah. But then you, like, look, but the then you look closer. Yeah, it's a professional yeah. hood. Yeah, exactly. It this way. It's not the clamshell. Went away from it. Phasing out V12, so it's got the AMG V8 tuned. Is it a yeah. four four point four liter or? Uh, it's a four liter. Oh, just four liter. Got it. Twin turbo, tuned. Oh my god. Horsepower. Nice. Yeah. Wow. This car. That's. Um, the interior is all new, and the tech, the infotainment. All the systems inside the car, and we, yeah, right. So it's it's actually because AMG owns five percent of Aston, so they yeah. use the architecture, and then the Aston, the software is Aston. Software is Aston now. Yeah, that's amazing. Because I know for a long time it was Correct. it was just that AMG stuff or Correct. whatever, and yeah. it wasn't really conducive to right. <laughs> a lot of yeah. luxury, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It just oozes style. I mean, it's it, got so much it style does. To it. It's a pre it's a lot more of a presence right. than I feel like the DB11 is. That's is. Why totally. We the DB11 so you can see the difference. Yeah, yeah. Cause this yeah. almost very good. Looks like a subdued version of yeah. it, right? Yeah. yeah. That that looks like the baby yeah. DB12. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they're both GT cars, yeah. but like the DBS. This new DB12, it took it to the next level. Yeah, totally. Performance and handling. So is it? Yeah. So what? What's the difference like suspension-wise, chassis-wise? Um, it, 
It, it is all new. It's all new. In the design. Okay. Uh, I can't tell you specifically because I honestly don't know. This is not a final production car. Understood. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Yeah, Do you mind the, if we pop the hood and uh, check it yeah, out? Yeah, you can pop the hood. Do you mind? All right. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm very I'm a big uh, engineering guy. I, lo I love the engineering behind these things. All the swan doors. <laughs> the swans. Excellent. I think it's, it might be on the passenger side. Oh, yeah. It is on the back. It is on the passenger side, British. There we go. Uh, how about that? That's so cool. Of course they would. Oh my god, it's all the way under? Oh, there we go. That is crazy. Uh, how about that? <laughs> is, it a, is it a double pop or is it... Oh, it is. Oh, no. There we Whoa. go. Oh my god. GD8, there it is. Yeah, you can see the two turbos. Uh, it the looks a beat. lot like the GT. It looks series. a lot like the GT Black Series, yeah, on the interior. Oh, especially the, the um, yeah. heat shield right there. Yeah, the heat shield right there. This yeah. is the amazing. intakes, massive intake. Crossbar. This is, oh, this is all nice. So cool. Heat shield, <laughs> looking good. Turbos. Oh my God, it's behind the steering rack, so it's a front mid. Well, yeah, the steering rack. Yeah, you can see it. It's a front mid. That's so sick. You can see, you can see actually the steering rack right down there. But oh my yeah, God, that's so that cool. Look at, this, look at the line there. Yeah, that's where the battery pack is, coil packs. Oh my god, this thing is so packed in the oh my god. <laughs> it's it's also condensed. A lot of the older Astons have all the wiring and everything spread out. Yeah. You can really tell that they changed a lot with this car, just engineering wise. Totally. Oh my god. Also even look at the hood. Look at that too, with the big scoop <laughs> in the middle. The big nose. <laughs> Oh yeah, with the nostril there. Yeah, nostril. There you go. I'm gonna call that the nostril. Ah, oh, so cool. It's got twin intakes, like um, the new Dark Horse Mustang. <laughs> the Mustang. Yeah, we're comparing, this, comparing to this up to a Mustang. That's a great idea. That's the first oh, car I saw. Notice this detail on the in the headlights. Look at that. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Yeah. They always push the motor back a little bit. Yeah, I noticed it was front mid mounted oh, yeah. now. Yeah. You can see that. You can see the steering rack right in the front of it. Yeah. yeah. That's so where the issue is, the engine block. Oh my god, this thing is... Well, anyways, thank you so much. Oh yeah, my, no problem. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you very much. much. Absolutely, guys. Thank you. Yeah. which is still unbelievably badass. It's, yes! It's a stick. Nice. It's a stick. Makes it way cooler. The one this silent was better. Okay. I gotta say though, the new interior. Jeez, I love it. Like the new interior? Yeah, it's, it's AMG-esque with that big screen. Plus it's got the variable M modes. It's got... Well, it's got the M buttons on the steering wheel. It's yeah. got the manual transmission. M2 in the headrest, so that's you, pretty cool. One more can you want, rear wheel drive. Well, I want some, maybe some normal door handles. But I hate those door handles. Yeah. See, now this is cool, look yeah. at this. Well, this is a Miata, and that's the answer to everything. Yeah, what, Miata is always Miata the answer. Miata is always the answer, because it can wink at you. <laughs> I, just, I just realized, the old, old oh school God, Mazda the badge. Old school Mazda. That's a, that's a throwback, that's a deep cut. <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> Very cool. All right, and that was our trip Ugh. to God. Rally Point East. Climbing out of the beach. See the DB12. Man, that was a good time. No. So many cool cars showed up. What an absolute thrill that was. Great turnout. Oh, thank you so much to Rally Point East for hosting that event. And thank you so much to Aston Martin for letting us sit in the DB12. Yeah. And everyone there was so nice, so very talkative, very... Uh, informational. Very, so Everything enthusiastic is, about the cars. Yeah. I mean, that's just really what we love. Which is what we you love. should be. Like, that's why we do this. We, are. we love it. Exactly. Uh, next week up, we got a really special treat for yeah. you. We have the car 
the video on the car we drove here, uh, what a cool road trip car it was. If it was you guessed awesome. it right in the comments, just wait till next week, it'll exactly. be out. Uh, and also subscribe, we got a ton more videos just like this coming up soon. Uh, if you guys uh, don't know, we actually only have about 1% of our viewer base subscribed. So be sure to subscribe. Please. Like the video, if comments if you liked it. So yes. uh, anyway, we really appreciate you watching. Yeah, thank, thank you, so, you much. so much. Have a good one. Have a good one. Two people bought McLarens. One. So they traded from a Silverado to a McLaren. One guy That's awesome. traded in a 22 Silverado extended cab, dually, like sick, like 80 grand. Wow. Wow. Black, black. Awesome. He's in construction. He's like, I don't know what I was thinking. I can't take this thing on a construction site. Like, it's, yeah, it's too nice. nice. Yeah. So, so he chose so you McLaren to bring get a McLaren no, and go too nice. McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> So a construction site, that wouldn't it's be, that so would funny. not be good. Yeah, yeah. Two, two I like that trade. I like that That's trade. a good, that's a good trade, yeah.